Darren Ravel, sports business reporter for ESPN, joining us on the show. Darren, uh, I guess where there's smoke, there's fire here. We're at least taught uh, that. But with uh, Gurley at Georgia, Winston at Florida State, uh, maybe some other players, uh, the autograph signing. So where, where are we going with this? Well, Dan, you know, obviously I'm, I'm part of the group, and I'm not sure where you are, that think that these guys should get compensated for their name and likeness and autographs. But as, as we have it right now, um, that is not allowed for NCAA rules. In fact, you, you, if you, you can't even sign for free if you know that you're signing for a dealer who then sell it. That would be an NCAA violation as well. Um, you know, so, so what we have with Gurley is, you know, more than 500 autographs authenticated by this James Spence authentication. I mean, this is really what kind of made it next level uh, with Manziel and, and with Gurley and now with Winston in that the way authentication companies work is you send in what you have to send in. They authenticate it. They put a serial number on it. That serial number matches to their computer to something on their website, and then you can type in. If you go left and you go right in terms of the numbers, you can then see how many were signed in sequential order. And when you come up with 197 items in a row from mm. the same guy, no matter what Florida State says, fans say about he autographs a lot, that just you know obviously raises raises red flags. Okay, Gurley is suspended indefinitely. Why is Winston not suspended? Well, the Gurley call is a school call, and Georgia has been uh, a little bit more proactive from that standpoint. Um, Mark Richt is known to be a little bit more proactive. So potentially they have information. We don't know what information they have. Maybe they're just being conservative and that they don't think that one player, even a Heisman Trophy candidate, is worth sacrificing the school's reputation and perhaps uh, – eligibility of certain things in the future. Um, so a lot of people just assume it's, you know, the NCA is in a bad place in terms of its investigatory uh, wherewithal now, and you just dare the NCAA. But if Georgia potentially has information, um, then, then, then that changes things. So I don't know what Gurley told Rick or Georgia. We do know that Winston, after uh, the Syracuse game on Saturday night, told Jimbo Fisher after he and a Florida State official approached Winston in the locker room that he did not sign for money. Now, if they believed him, what the, the, the main question is, because I know people are saying, well, is he, could he be ineligible or could Florida State pull him? The main question is, at some point, is it out of Jimbo Fisher's control? At some point, is someone at Florida State going to say, you know, this is, it, it, it's not about one thing, it's about this happening again and again and again, and is it worth our institution being looped in with all of this, or should we just wash our hands of it, even though it might mean a loss here or there? Well, you've already rolled the dice. They're, they're rolling the di dice on Jameis Winston right now. So Right, right. You know, it's, it's all or nothing. Yeah. And, I, and, I, and, I, and I would also say that there's a way to do all or nothing and not publicly be all or nothing. Uh, Jimbo Fisher's comments yesterday were – we're, we're, we're pretty amazing. I mean, you could, you could say we're waiting for the disciplinary yes, hearing. Yes, I agree. <laughs> I couldn't believe how, how the phrase, if there isn't a crime, there isn't a victim, yeah. comes out of your mouth in the environment that we live in today just makes absolutely no sense. And what it shows is that Jimbo Fisher thinks he is the boss. Now, as we know, Roger Goodell thought he was the boss potentially – there's always someone above you, and and the question then becomes, at what point, if Jimbo Fisher continues to get angry at the process, at what point does someone consider taking him out of the process or at least saying to him, you, know, you, 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 you can't say these things? He's Darren Ravel, ESPN Sports Business Reporter, joining us, Dan Patrick Show. Yeah, I agree with you. You can't have a blanket statement. All you have to do is say it's an ongoing process. I'm trying to get ready for Notre Dame. When you come out and you have this – uh, de declarative statement here. I ju it just backs you into a corner. Are there other players involved in this autograph uh, controversy here? Well, yeah, I, 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 Florida State fans especially are pointing to other names and taking going into this James Spence authentication database and saying, hey, I found 30 in a row of Marcus Mariota or 20 in a row of, of Bryce Petty. 
Um, I can tell you that, you know, as far as Manziel, Gurley, and and Winston, they're in a class by themselves. No, you know, in in the Winston signing, there, there's 235 signed numbers in sequential order, which means they're submitted at the same time. Is the guy who um, runs this memorabilia site? Is he talking? The James Spence authentication is talking, um, and he actually told me this morning that he's confident that the signatures are real, right? I mean, he, he just authenticated the but signatures. But did he pay for these? No, this guy's just the authenticator. He's not the dealer. Someone sent him these is to the authenticate dealer, that is, they're real. Darren, is the dealer talking? The guy no, that says, I no, paid money. No, the, deal, the dealer is not talking. The dealer is not talking. And in these cases, listen, I got I got some dealers off the record. I could never bring them on the record for Manziel. We, we, we know we had five witnesses over time that Manziel signed over 4,400 autographs. <laughs> but, at the end, but at the end of the day, these guys don't want to talk on the record or be, uh, you know, kind of in, interviewed by the NCAA. One, because they don't want to be run out of town, which the guy who, who put his name behind uh, Todd Gurley, Brian Allen, was. And two, you know, the value of their – if they're holding hundreds and hundreds of yeah. autographs, yeah. the value of their autograph goes down, okay. obviously, if Jameis Winston can't win another Heisman or another title. Darren, before I let you go. What if we did this? What if I include the NCAA in this, that all memorabilia, everything is signed, is going through the NCAA. You have the NCAA seal of approval. That's the only place, if you're a fan, to buy. And, and so I can then share in the profits with these kids. Instead, I, I, I don't want somebody to benefit off their likeness. I think it's dangerous if they benefit off their likeness because then there's going to be gray area, money under the table, Boosters involved. It, it's just not a road we want to go down. But if yeah, I, I, it's, if the solutions, Dan, are very difficult. I, 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 I think that the advantages that are already there are there. Hey, a kid's going to say you come to Alabama, yes. uh, uh, so, and, and come to Alabama, and 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 your autograph will be worth more. And there's more built-in fans, and, and or a booster will say, uh, Boone Pickens will say, I'll buy ten thousand. Yep. You know, yep. um, so 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 Wait, I don't know. Did, what did you have to is. have a kind of a southern accent there with T Boone Pickens, or I thought you'd like that. Oh, okay, thank you. Thanks. Did you not? No, <laughs> no extra charge for that. <laughs> no, 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 not at all. That was billi- I like to throw billionaire. It up, mix it up a little bit. <laughs> billionaire country is what that was. <laughs> hey, Darren, it's uh, good to have you on. All right, you got it, man. Thanks, right. Dan. Keep me up to date, Darren Ravel, sports business reporter, of the Mothership.